Okay, so what we're going to show here is how to pick up a trigger. They call it like a trigger coil, uh, pickup coil. There's a few different names for it. First of all, what is it? Where is it? Our uh, flywheel and stator and so forth, uh, and two strokes here, is behind the recoil. So our uh, stator and flywheel are down in here underneath this housing. As our flywheel turns, we have to let the CDI box know when do we want that spark to start. And that's what our flywheel, our, our, we've got a key on, uh, on the outside of our flywheel here that this picks up. This is your trigger right here every time your flywheel goes around. So, you know, guys sometimes put a key in backwards, and all you have to do is, you know, which way does the motor turn? It turns, you know, whichever way you're looking at. It could be clockwise. You look at it this way, you counterclockwise, but whichever end you're looking at the motor. When it's running, which way does it turn? And when you put a key in there to advance your timing, you want the spark to fire sooner. So you've got to put that key in the slot on the, on the, uh, crank down there so it'll advance that uh, flywheel just a little bit so it advances the timing. But back to how do we check our trigger there. Well our trigger that goes to our CDI box that's going to tell us when to fire. On this particular model here this uh, this is a ZRT uh, slash uh, Thundercat Articat here. So we've got our trigger here and it's just two wires. Those wires are going to the CDI box. So follow those wires up wherever they go. We've got our connector here. The way we undo our connector is the same way we did our undid our connector uh, to check the stator. We've got our little tab here. Grab a little uh, screwdriver. You can lift that little tab up and uh, if you lift and uh, pull at the same time she'll come right apart for you. So once we have it apart now we just take our ohm meter and all this depends on uh, the specs for your trigger, what you have. But you just go ahead and, and uh, stick your leads down in there. And uh, go ahead and check the resistance on it. So once again, we're checking ohms. And this particular trigger right here is measuring uh, 174 ohms. And like I said, I'd have to look at the book, see what the actual specs were for this, but uh, uh, from what I recall reading, this is within spec. So that is how you check your trigger or uh, pickup coil, whatever uh, you want to call it.